How to tackle the issue of gun violence. One potential answer is smart gun technology. Its aim is to ensure that only a gun owner is able to fire that weapon. Several kinds of smart guns are now in development. CCTV's Hendrix Sabrandi profiles a Colorado teen who thinks he's found an important solution. That's the most complicated. 18-year-old Kai Klepfer was never particularly drawn to guns, didn't grow up with them in his home. But then several years ago... I was looking for a project for the local science fair. The Aurora, Colorado theater shooting had just happened. Clefford thought there might be a way to prevent not mass shootings necessarily, but unintentional gun accidents, which cause an estimated 2,000 injuries and deaths in the U.S. every year. These sort of accidental deaths, the misuse of firearms that happens every day, is in almost every way a much larger problem. And additionally, it's a problem that I could actually solve with engineering. He Just got to work. I actually started with iris recognition technology which was really promising until I realized that most people using guns wear sunglasses. Eventually, I settled on fingerprints. A fingerprint sensor embedded in the side of a gun captures the image of the print of the person holding it. If the image matches a print stored inside the weapon, it unlocks. The gun then locks again less than a second after leaving a user's hand. It's designed to give the, the gun owner control over their own firearm. Thank you. U.S. President Barack Obama believes this kind of technology could prevent the accidental discharge or unauthorized use of weapons. If we can set it up so you can't unlock your phone unless you got the right fingerprint, why can't we do the same thing for our guns? But some say the fingerprint sensors on smartphones aren't always reliable. Why would smart guns be any different? It's no big deal for casual marksmen. If the gun doesn't work, so what? Then you, then you didn't hit the tin can that time, and that, that's okay. But gun rights supporter David Kopel says it's far different for someone in law enforcement or the military. One failure is all it takes for an innocent person to be killed by the criminal. Engineering work. Klepfer, who built this so computer for his project. Six core processor. 64 gigabytes of memory. Wants to make the electronics on his gun more reliable than the firearm itself. This is not like drop on the table, it's just gonna solve gun violence. I'm not claiming that. But he says it would have prevented a recent ambush of a Philadelphia officer using a stolen police gun. And it could render a gun in a child's hand harmless. Hendrick Sabrandi, CCTV, Denver.